Chewbacca. Oi, oi. Chewbacca sesh with me inside. 20 seconds a graft. 10 seconds recovery, so it's short burst, but also short recovery time. One round is made up of eight lots of 20 seconds. So your first round is a speed round. How it's gonna work is you're gonna perform 20 seconds of mapping climbs, we'll go through teaching points as we go, and then 20 seconds of high knees. Then there's a little twist halfway through, but we'll keep you right as we go. All we need you to do now, get yourself warmed up. <laughs> and let's go! Right, because of the copyright lock, we can't play um, the Tabata music, so we've got 20 seconds of beeps. Now the only issue with the beeps is that the beep you're down three, two, one. So don't stop until you hear beep three. So you're getting eight second countdown. Your first set is mountain climbs. I'm gonna keep you right on the teaching point, Sandy's gonna put a shift in, you're off in. Three, two, go. So what we're looking for is your body weight forward, your back straight. What I want you to do is keep an eye on your shoulder position over the top of the wrists. Knees are coming through, we don't want that bum lifting. You shouldn't be kicking the back, your backside. Knees are coming through, back straight, you keep moving for another. Three, two, rest. So you get 10 seconds, short recovery. Keep your feet moving on the rest time. And then we're gonna do 20 seconds of high knees. Go! So what we're looking for is posture. We're gonna incorporate arms as well, so big, powerful movements. The knees are gonna come up rather than kicking your backside. We're gonna pick them knees up to hip height. If you wanna go harder, you increase the size of the movement and increase the speed. We're still there for three, two, rest. So you're gonna go back to your mountain climbs now, get your position locked in, get your core tight, get your back flat or off in three, two, go. So if you wanna make this harder, we'll pick up the pace. If you wanna make it easier, we'll reduce the speed. That's how you're gonna increase and decrease the intensity. Keep your technique, keep an eye on that shoulder position. You're still there for another. Seven, six, go on, Sam. Three, rest. Right, you've got one more set of high knees, and then we're gonna put a challenge your way for your last four sets into battle one. Three, two. Big movements, fast as you can. Keep them knees up. Both exercise together. 20 mountain climbs, straight into 20 high knees. Get ready. So, 20 mountain climbs, then 20 high knees. Then you come back down and do as many extended plank shoulder taps until the 20 seconds is up. If you don't get time to get on the extended plank taps, don't worry about it. Lock your body in. Core tight, hips still. Rest. So your challenge now is to see if you can beat how many taps you got. If you didn't get onto the taps, just try and push a couple more reps on the knees. Three, two, so it's 20 mountain climbs. Keeping the same range of movement, then 20 high knees. If there's any time left, that's when we'll drop down. Get your body weight forward, get your back flat, core tight, glutes on, and tap your shoulders without the body turning. If you're looking for an individual challenge, all you do is count how many taps you're getting and try and beat your scores. Sign you off again, mountain climbs in threes, twos, go! 20 mountain climbs, 20 knees. Don't reduce the range of movement just to get onto them taps. taps and you're finding that your body's um, turning, your hips are moving, take your feet position wider, that's going to give you a bit more stability, then lock your core in, pull the belly button in, get them glutes on, that's going to help you keep tight, and then try and get the taps. We're still there, four, three, two, rest. 
But then, to batter one complete hour works now, is we're going to go on to a bit of a power round to batter where we're going to do squat jumps and plyometric press ups. If you can't do squat jumps, you can miss the impact and just perform 20 seconds of squats. If you can't do plyometric press ups, then you can just perform normal press ups or press ups on your knees. So 20 seconds of squat jumps, then 10 seconds rest, then 20 seconds of plyometric press ups or normal press ups. We're good? We'll, we'll give you some options as we go. You're going to get an eight second countdown. So, as always, good posture on your squats. Go! Just because it's Tabata and it's short burst and we're looking for lots of volume doesn't mean we're losing the technical range of movement. We're still sitting down into that squat, getting the chest up, and then we're exploding up. Sinking straight back into your next rep. Five seconds. Down for press ups. Now, with the press ups, we're going to have hands just outside shoulder width. Body weight forward, chest comes all the way down. Full range at the top. If you can add a jump, get on it. So Sandy's exploding up, then on landing, she's sinking straight back into that next press up. If that gets too much before the 20 seconds up, she just bangs a normal press ups. So you've got plenty of options. Five. Now, if you're fighting that you want to increase the intensity, here's an option on your squats. And that is going to make a mega difference. Go! Keep your techniques up there. I'm going to perform 20 seconds of straight 
That's the finishing, extend elbow, shoulder finishes next to chin, and I just rotate there, and then that hand comes back to me chin, nice and light on the feet, and I'm there for 20 seconds, okay? Round two, cycle two, we'll go burpees. After four cycles, we'll give you a challenge for your final four sets of 20 seconds, and this is your last about Eight second countdown. So nice and relaxed. Keep your technique in the 20 seconds is straight. Yes. Good. So just think about that full reach. Try to avoid this. You're there for another three, two. Best. Good way. So we go big piece, chest and hips make contact the floor. I'm going to touch up back of my head on the jump. To extend the hips. Look at the option. If you want to challenge yourself, pop it to jump in after the big beat, let me know about it. Yes. Back on your uh, street. Control your breathing, get your positioning set, and you're gonna go in. Three, two, full range. Ten seconds. 